Welcome back, we have snow once again. In previous videos, you've seen that we've done a lot of winterizing to this chicken coop so that the chickens can be happy here during the winter time. But even after you winterize it, there's always maintenance that needs to happen to it. Plus, we're gonna make a big change today and that's what I wanna start with. All right, so this hoop coop, originally when we first got it here, we housed our new flock before introducing them to our other flock. So they lived in here, so what we did is we covered it with this tarp and it was only covered about halfway, just so that when it rained, they still had a shelter to get away from rain. They didn't have to be just rained on and in the open. That was okay, we liked that. Then when wintertime started, we added this blue tarp, which obviously is a little bit cheaper, not as nice. It didn't match this, which are all not good things. We added this just so they had a whole shelter to go into, just to kind of avoid from the wind. Problem with doing this during the winter time though, is that it gets super dark in there because it's just covered with tarp with no way for sunlight to get through. We tried covering the front of this with the clear wrapping so that some sunlight could get through there. And we have a little bit in the back of it as well. Oh man, that's a big snowball you got over there. The back of the hoop coop is covered by that chicken coop. So there's really no way for sunlight to get through to it. So this hasn't been the best idea. So if you would have guessed it, what we're gonna do today is we have some clear plastic sheeting and we're gonna take these tarps off so that we can allow sunlight to get into it because sunlight, especially during the winter time, is gonna allow them to lay a lot better because they're already not gonna produce that well for you in the winter time and sunlight is one of those keys that you can maybe get some eggs during the winter time. So we're gonna use this plastic wrapping to cover this chicken coop and get rid of that tarp and it's gonna make a big difference, just wait and see. Just in case anyone's wondering, this plastic wrapping they were using, if you use the six mil, it's a lot thicker and it's gonna be better, especially during any windstorms or snowstorms here during the winter time. It's gonna make it where it's not gonna rip as easy. It's a little bit more expensive than using like two mil or four mil, but six mil is what I'd say for you to use. <laughs> I don't know how happy the chickens are now that they have the cold weather shining on them, but I think they do like the sunlight. How you guys doing? We're gonna make this look a lot better for you, okay? How you doing, Seas? Now they're probably really wondering what's going on inside there, and they are probably super cold. All right, we got it all covered now. And as you can see, if you look closely, you can actually see the chickens inside it right now from being on the outside, which obviously through the tarps you could not. And you can see how much sunlight's getting in there. Let me show you now. Now that we got the chickens, they're brand new hut and they are just absolutely loving it. I can tell that the sunlight going in there is gonna help them out a lot. Now it's time for that maintenance scene in the winter time like I was saying. So the first thing we're gonna do is improve this hut. We got the chickens inside the other coop right now so that we can kind of work in here a little easier, especially so Mr. Caesar doesn't get all upset at us. Faye, what are you doing in there? Get out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw some fresh straw down in here. It looks like they've walked around with their wet feet a lot in here already. So they need some new dry stuff to keep them warm because we're gonna have a lot of cold weather this week. They have the fresh straw in there and they're gonna absolutely love that. It's gonna keep them more dry, keep them warm when they're in that area. Plus, if you know chickens, they love scratching around whenever you put new litter down. 
so they are going to absolutely love it. But now it's time to go inside the main coop and add some wood chips to our deep litter method that we've been using this winter. And I'm thinking this is going to be very good compost by the end of the winter. I'm excited. All right, that's the deep litter method. All I had to do was throw those wood chips right on top. And now that should be secure for them this winter time. Although it's not much work during the winter time to here to do the deep litter method, I'm thinking when it's time to clean this coop out, it's gonna be a lot of scraping around and get all this stuff. It should be making for good compost because you're just putting a new layer on it and allowing all that stuff underneath it which is the chicken poo, to compost under that layer and the heat's gonna rise, which allows that chicken coop to be warmer for you during the winter time. So if you have a stationary coop, you should really look into doing that. Even though that's snowing right now, there isn't much snow on the ground right here. We try to shovel a little spot so they can still come outside every once in a while. I think the chickens wanna come out and play though, so. So let's let them out and let's see if they wanna come play out in the snow or not. I guess they did want to come out. That's good for the chickens though. It's good for the animals to come out and get fresh air. It's just not good for them to be frostbit or get really too cold out here, but they're right next to the hoop coop though. So if they get cold, they know where to go. A Little bit of leftover straw. So let's go give the pig hut some straw so these pigs can stay warm during the cold weather also. Looks like the girls in Chelsea made a snowman while the coop was getting worked on. He's kind of doing the limbo though. I don't know if he's gonna be surviving. Hey pig, pig, pigs. You guys want some food? So as the pigs eat, that gives me a good time to try to get some of this straw into there because I'm sure with all this snow, they're probably getting wet stuff in there. So pigs, the main thing you gotta do is give them some fresh dry stuff just so they can stay warm. But our Mangalista pigs do pretty good in the winter time. During the winter time, a good thing to do is to walk around these electrical fence lines, this poly wire. Sometimes the snow can weigh down little branches that can fall down on the poly wire line. So right now is a good time while they're eating, I'm in here, just to make sure all these lines look like they're in a good spot. The fence line looked good for the pigs, which is good, because you don't want any of those escaping. We've been used to that here. The chicken coop is looking good. I'm happy about maintenance in it for them and getting them ready, because we probably have our coldest month coming up right now. We wanna make sure that it is ready to go so that they stay nice and warm. But getting the sunlight into that coop was a big deal. Now they can stay protected from the snow and the coldness outside, but still get that sunlight like today. Today is a beautiful sunny day here, even though it's winter time. And if you see right now, the chickens are loving it. I think I'm gonna call it the chicken igloo which uh, seems like an appropriate name for how it looks. Winter time and coming out and maintenance isn't the most fun thing to do, but I'll tell you what, for it being snowy and for how it looks, it's actually pretty warm and the sun is out. So if there was a day to come out and do this, today was the perfect day. Well, I'm gonna leave it at that. So as you can see, the chicken igloo, it looks a lot better from afar than it did with those tarps, especially the two different color tarps. Today, once again, seems like another successful day on the homestead. You guys have a great day and a better tomorrow. We'll see you in the next one.